Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to take a look at five different CC base types and how you can convert them to various formats and use them for different styles of characters. The newly released bases include realistic male and female bases, a neutral base, as well as toon style male and female bases. The topology of these base models is optimized for use with both CG animation and game design projects. You can use tools like Subdivision to increase mesh complexity for higher detail scenarios. They also include UV maps that provide a reference for use with texture and shader modifications, which you can see here in Blender. Each model contains a high quality set of various topology texture maps for selected body parts, which provide a useful base for future editing. And each has its own skeletal rig as well, allowing you to generate a control rig with a single click. Here you can see that we've converted the rig to utilize Rigify in Blender. There are also numerous facial controls which allow you to quickly create expressions and facial animations. These controls are based on the model's blend shapes, which make them easy to edit and create custom expressions. You can also utilize the embedded blend shapes directly for facial animation as well. To download these CC bases for free, head over to the official website and click on the download button. You'll need to register as a Reillusion member, and after you've logged into your account and watched a quick video, the zip files will download automatically. Once download is complete, you'll find three folders once you unzip for the FBX, OBJ, and ZTL formats, along with one for the topology texture maps. Each format has slightly different workflows, which we'll explore here. Let's start off with the OBJ format and import in the Tune Neutral Male OBJ. The OBJ format represents a single mesh model without a skeleton or expression morphs. However, they can be split into multiple meshes for animation purposes and exported to both FBX and OBJ formats, where you can then use Reillusion's free AccuRig tool to generate a skeletal rig. However, with this workflow, it's recommended to maintain a single mesh and keep the naming consistent in order to import the finalized model into Character Creator for conversion into a CC3 Plus character. You can utilize all of the advanced modeling tools in ZBrush to modify and sculpt your model in your own custom style. When doing this, it's important to ensure that you keep the face count the same as the original base model. If using subdivision during this process, ensure that you bake the details to normal maps as we want to keep our characters real-time ready. Once you've done so, return to subdivision level 1 and export to OBJ. Next in Character Creator, let's load in the neutral male tune base, which can be found in the embedded character folder in the Content Manager. Ensure that the CC3 Plus base character that you load from Content Manager is consistent with the OBJ that you use to do your sculpting in ZBrush. In this case, they're both the male tune base. You'll want to start by putting your CC model into a bind pose, and then proceed to create a new morph slider in the Morphs tab of the Modify panel. Enter a name for this morph and then proceed to load in the OBJ file you exported earlier. You'll also want to load in the relevant OBJ key file, which can be found in the folder of the base type you used. Also ensure that you select Adjust Bones to Fit Morph to avoid any bone proportion issues, then hit OK. Once that's done, head over to the Morphs tab and zero out the currently used morphs. You'll see a Tune Style one for both the head and body. Then search for the morph slider you imported and test it out. We've now successfully imported our model shape from ZBrush, and as you can see, it is fully rigged with bones proportional to the body scale. This means that our imported model is now a fully functional CC3 Plus character. To learn more about this character type, please check out the Getting Started with Character Creator 4 tutorial. This workflow allows you to quickly and easily integrate your own custom models into the Reillusion production environment. Okay, next let's look at using the FBX format. In this workflow, we'll utilize the Auto Setup plugin for Blender. There are also Auto Setup tools for other CG software and game engines, which you can find on the Reillusion site. We'll start by importing in our FBX character via the Auto Setup plugin window, and take a look at the topology in wireframe mode. You can also see the model's UV maps in UV editing mode. 
and get a look at the shader results in Material Preview mode. In Shading mode, you can see the material structure. Here, you can connect the relevant topology map to get a look at how the sections of the body and head are divided. In the Object Data Properties tab, we can see the character's expression blend shapes. You can utilize these in various combinations to create incredibly detailed facial animation later on in iClone or other 3D software. Checking in front under Viewport Display will display your character's skeletal rig. From there, you can expand the Rigging and Animation tab in the Auto Setup panel and click the Rigify button to generate that specialized control rig. From there, you can use the Rigify controls in Pose mode to test out the movement results. If you want to sculpt your model's mesh, you can do so from Sculpt mode. When sculpting the mesh, again, be sure to retain the number of vertices. Once you've finished your sculpting, you can quickly export an FBX via the Auto Setup panel. This time, you can drag in the FBX file you exported from Blender directly into Character Creator and define it as a CC avatar. Here, you'll be prompted to load in the relevant FBX key that was created upon export, which is automatically loaded in. Upon import, you can apply any number of test animations to view the result. And you can also apply motions directly from the Content Manager as well. You can see these tune leg motions are quite suitable for our huge dude here. Your model will have full facial animation compatibility as well, utilizing the blend shapes that we saw earlier in Blender. You can move around each muscle individually, or combine a few of them to create various expressions using the Edit Facial tool. There are also plenty of facial animations that you can check out in the Content Manager. Not to mention that you can send your character to iClone to take advantage of the various other facial animation tools, including a number of motion capture options. Finally, let's take a brief look at using a ZTL file in ZBrush which is like an OBJ, only it contains multiple subtools, which is useful when you want to separate meshes for things like hair, accessories, teeth, etc. Here we've loaded in the base model ZTL, and you can see that there are a few different subtools already here for things like the teeth and eyes. It's important to be aware here that you cannot change the naming of these existing subtools, however, you can add as many of your own as you want. ZTL format is also missing skeletal rig and expression morph data, but as we saw in the OBJ example, that's not a problem as this data will be assigned when we import into Character Creator. Go ahead and sculpt your character next. In this case, I'm adding several subtools, including the hair, gloves, and shorts, the naming of which are arbitrary. Once the sculpting is finished, you'll want to start by loading a neutral base in Character Creator. Once again, ensure that the character is set to a bind pose, and then we'll go back into ZBrush and this time use the GoZ tool. Simply click on All to update all of the subtools to Character Creator. You'll see the GoZ Options panel appear in CC, where you want to ensure that all of the original subtools are set to update, while the new ones are set to create cloth. If you've baked a few textures for the character in ZBrush, they will also be updated here. Be sure to export with an A pose. That's the workflow for these three main formats. OBJ is normally sufficient if you don't need to animate your characters. However, if you're using ZBrush and intend to animate your character, generally ZTL is recommended. FBX is most commonly used for exporting to other CG and game design software and contains both skeletal rig and facial blend shape data for animation. That's it for this tutorial, guys. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out our other tutorials on our Learning Center. I'll see you in the next video.